Okay, here's my 32 plate 31 cell electrolyzer. It's now being compressed and sealed with the steel plates. I'm running it off a 5 amp Variac. Uh, I have an AC amp meter clamped to the AC input of a full wave bridge. The gas exits this tube, comes into this container where it pushes the water up this tube and into our measuring container. The second tube here is just simply for filling and it's turned off. Alright, I have a 5 amp Variac and it's running into a full wave bridge and I have my digital amp clamp meter on the bridge on the AC side and this is my stopwatch and so I'm going to turn it on, it's set to 130 volts and we'll see how much gas this will produce. 4.65 amps Alright, 1,000 milliliters in 48.649 seconds. Here's a visual of the gas output. I think a quarter inch line is probably a little small. Here's our test to verify that this is, in fact, HHO gas. Okay, and these are my lab assistants. We are inventing a HHO gas. This is a flashback arrestor to... Okay, and here's our HHO, uh, well actually yeah. it's an airbrush, HHO gas. that's right, HHO gas that we're going to ignite, coming out of an airbrush of all things, uh, it's running at exactly 3.5 amps, I've got to turn way down because any more gas production than this and uh, I just spring leaks everywhere, so, <laughs> is your HHO flame. For size comparison, you can see it's just about as long as the palm of my hand. And uh, this is a piece of tungsten steel. And we will put the tungsten steel in the flame. I am a lady. Can't blow it out. As you see, it heats it right up to orange red pretty quick. And I'm going to have to put this down because it's getting hot on the other end of this rod. There you go. How's that for a plane? Nearly as long as my hand. <laughs>